born here in Blount County, and uh, we met in Everett High School. We was in high school together. Uh, There's a little slope coming down through there uh, on the campus, and I looked up there one day, and there she come, and I said, that's mine right there. <laughs> Took a little while to reel it in, but that's when I knew right there is what I wanted. I was born here in Maryville. Um, I grew up in church. I, um, I, like I said, I met Fred. We got married when I was 19, he was 21. And we've been together ever since. Mm -hmm. So I was in Vietnam, I got, I went to Vietnam January the 1st of 67 and got out January 15th of 68. So when I come back, we got back together again after being gone a year and then we got married before we went out in Missouri. It was, it was hard. It was very tough. You can look at the medals and each one of them medals is, is a particular fight. You know, you got, you got a medal because of what you've done. And uh, it was, I, I lost a lot of good friends over there. And uh, I mean, it's just hard to believe how tough it really was. See, you're in the jungle. You don't have no beds or nothing. You sleep under a tree. But this, you know, it's the thing about war is, and, and a lot of people don't, you know, they'll fight over here because we're fighting over there. But I mean, that's what keeps your country going. If you don't defend it, somebody's gonna take it. And that's basically what we knew. I got out and I was getting ready to get on the plane. And I was scared to death until that plane got out of out of Vietnam. <laughs> so it made it. I said, whoa, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I've been here since the early 50s. My dad, he uh, worked at Alcoa Aluminum Company. And a guy at Alcoa, he, he worked with, invited him down to Victory as having a revival that week. So once, once Dad come home, he said, we're going to church tonight. So we all come to church and we've been coming ever since. <laughs> I was a little later uh, when we got married. Like I said, we, he, we spent uh, six months until he got out of the service. And uh, we came back here and it just automatically was, that was, uh, we got married in 68, mm -hmm. six months later, we started coming to Victory. And we've been here ever since. Our, we have two children and they grew up here in Victory. So, you know, I think the most important thing for me is uh, the people at Victory and I, I sit through seven ministers, and each one taught me something, and I cared about each one. Um, and prayer, it's, that's very important to me because there's been times in my life when I really needed people praying. Well, you, I first tell them we've got a good pastor. That's, that's the main key in it. And I said, the people's awful friendly. You know, they're not gonna push you aside and try to get around you or think they're better than you or all that. And, and it's the truth. I, I enjoyed it from the day I first started. I wasn't saved. Me and my mom, dad, and brother and sisters were sitting there about seven rows back. And this lady come up and she said, are you saved? I said, no. <laughs> she said, come to the altar with me. That's when I got saved. You know, it's, it's, it's like that. You gotta, you gotta be friendly. You gotta reach out to people. You know what I mean? I think for me, I would say that we have and have always had preachers that preach the Bible. Yeah. They teach you things that you might not know. And just like our pastor said Sunday, go home and research it. I'm just happy here and I've always been happy. You, you actually have to have your mind in the right place. Once you, once you decide that's what I'm gonna do, then it, it'll follow itself, you know. That's the way it was in Vietnam. I didn't have other choice. You would get in there and fight, you'd get yourself blown away and sent back in a coffin, you know, so. And, and 
here at this church, you know, we've always had friendly people. I think me, for me, faithfulness, um, I'll give you a couple of ex examples of the Lord in my life. Uh, when my daughter was in the third grade, she just kept getting sicker and sicker. And they finally sent her to a viral infection specialist. And she was there, I think at that time, she had a fever of 106. Mm -hmm. And nothing was showing up. Every test that she had, it just was not, nothing was showing up. That night, they told me that I needed to call my husband in. And I felt the Lord with me during that time. I felt people praying for me. By the time he got there, I just, you know, I just handed it all over to the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, and I've done that during the hard times in my life. Um, I feel the Lord the strongest. And how can you not be faithful? Well, the thing about it is you're never going to do anything right unless you're faithful with it. You can't just do it part time and, and, and achieve anything out of it. You know what I mean? For yourself, for your salvation, for the church. Well, our people need to hear, invite people to church. You know, people just don't come on their own. Well, a few do, but I'm talking about invite somebody to church. Like, like that guy invited my daddy. We wouldn't have been here, period, if he hadn't invited him and gone to that, uh, went to that church one time, then we was there forever. But I mean, it's, it's a thing that, that you, it's gotta be a part of you. you. Can't just be a church. It's gotta be part of you, and God's gotta be involved in, in all aspects of it.